An article in the New York Post just came out saying that New Yorkers continue to stampede south as record numbers swap to Florida driver's licenses. In the article, they say that 5,838 New Yorkers have made the switch in the month of August, which is the highest number in history. A total of 41,885 New Yorkers have switched their driver's license this year, which is another record. California also set a record in August with 3,059 Californians switching to Florida driver's license in the month of August. And New Jersey hit a record with 3,259 swaps. But the same New York Post put out this article in June saying Florida sucks and you'll be back in five years. And then we've seen articles like this over the last year saying nine reasons I regret I moved to Florida. So if you're asking yourself, if Florida sucks so bad, why are all these people moving there? And if you're thinking about moving to Florida, should you? But this whole place sucks. Well, don't go anywhere because in this video, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Sunshine State. And we're going to address this. Does Florida really suck this bad? Or are people just trying to scare you from moving down here? Hi my friends, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, my name is Lee Bricky and on this channel we talk about everything real estate in the beautiful Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast. And sometimes we talk about Florida as a whole like we're going to do today. So if any of that interests you, you should subscribe to this channel because eventually I'm going to talk about something that you're interested in. And for subscribing, here's a picture of Henry. So after 35 years of living in South Florida, I've seen the culture in the cities of Florida change dramatically, especially in the last few years. Now, in my opinion, I think it's for the better. Now, I know that some people would disagree with me, but that's their opinion. So when I saw these articles that Florida sucked and you would regret moving here, after having a good laugh, I had to make this video. So let's cover what people say sucks about Florida, because to be honest with you, there are certain things you should know before moving down here. And no state's perfect, but I think some of these articles go a little bit too far. You may have hoodwinked everyone else in this backwater town, but you can't fool me. So first, let's cover what these articles say about terrifying animals living in your backyard. Yes, we have lizards of all kinds, gators, snakes, and you know, Florida's in the South, so we have bugs. Now, when we have a little cold snap in South Florida, the iguanas will actually go into a hibernation and fall out of the trees. And sometimes people make the terrible mistake of picking them up. Don't do that, because when they wake up, they are not friendly animals and they've got big claws and long tails to beat you with. So just leave the lizards alone. Some people are really stupid. And as far as other lizards go in Florida, they eat bugs, snakes, and other lizards. So they keep the population of the bugs, snakes, and lizards down, and that's a good thing. And as far as snakes and gators go, if you live in the South, you have snakes and gators. Now, one of the problems that Florida has is we have pythons. And that's because people have let their pythons out into the Everglades. So these pythons have no natural predators here. So they get out of control and sometimes they get in people's backyards. That's why every year they have the python hunt and they go out and hunt pythons. And hopefully we have a really cold winter because pythons don't do well in the cold and that gets rid of a lot of them also. But if you live in a populated area, you're probably not gonna have a python in your backyard because I live in Jupiter and I've not seen a python in my backyard yet. But I'm not saying if you live on a lake that you might not have a python in your backyard. You could, and you definitely could have an alligator in your backyard and all lakes have snakes. So if you don't like snakes, alligators, then don't live on a lake. But to be fair, alligators have been known to attack people here in Florida and especially cats and dogs getting too close to a pond or a lake. So that is something you wanna be aware of. But Florida has a Florida Gator hotline, so if there is a gator that's too big and is causing problems, you can give them a call and they'll come out and remove it for you. But usually if the alligator is under four feet, they're not an issue. But me personally, I play a lot of golf here in Florida and most of the golf courses have alligators in the pond, so 
I see a lot of alligators swimming around the pond and sunning on the side of the golf course, and it's kind of enjoyable. Also, you'll see an iguana run across the golf course here and there, but I grew up in Southeast Texas and fishing in lakes and bottoms in Southeast Texas, you see a lot of alligators and snakes, so you kind of get used to it, and you create what's called alligator etiquette, which means that don't mess with the alligators and definitely don't feed them. Mama says that alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth but no toothbrush. Next, these articles talk about hurricanes wiping out Florida. And yes, we have hurricanes. And yes, we've had some really, really bad hurricanes. But with that being said, if you live anywhere on the Atlantic coast or anywhere on the Gulf Coast, you're going to have hurricanes. This article from Policy Genius talks about the U.S. states that deal with the most hurricanes. And as you can see, the entire Gulf Coast and the entire Atlantic Coast have possible hurricanes, but Florida being number one, obviously. And depending on where you live, depends on where you're most likely to see a direct hit from a hurricane. But with that said, you know when a hurricane's coming, so you have time to prepare. I'd much rather deal with a hurricane than I would an earthquake or a forest fire. But that's not to say that Florida hasn't had its share of forest fires, because it has, but Florida's done a very good job of forest management and doing controlled burns to keep the amount of forest fires down to a minimum. Now, another thing the article talks about is sinkholes, that eventually Florida's gonna just fall into a sinkhole. Now, personally, I've lived here 35 years and I've never seen a sinkhole, but that's because I've lived in South Florida. And most of the sinkholes happen in Western Central Florida. So sinkholes are a problem in Florida and something you need to be aware of again. So before you buy, you're gonna to wanna to understand sinkholes and where they are and how they can happen. Next, these article talks about the heat. Are you kidding me? This is the tropics. We're closer to the equator than pretty much anywhere else in the United States. So it's hot in Florida, especially in the summertime. June, July, August, and September tend to be the hottest times in Florida, and especially August and September. But by the time you get to the end of October, about Halloween, we have that beautiful fall, winter, and spring weather that snowbirds have been coming down here to experience for decades. Another thing that they mention in this article, which I think is absolutely hilarious, is the tourist. Absolutely, Florida is a tourist state. I mean, we have tons of things to come down here and do. Disney is here. So obviously we have tourism, but New York's also a tourist state because I don't know, I don't live in New York, but I love New York City and my wife and I have been many, many times. Also, California used to be a pretty nice place to visit. So, you know, tourism is pretty much in every state that has something attractive about it. And Florida obviously has many things that's attractive to create tourism. But tourism is good for the economy. So I don't see tourism as a bad thing anywhere in any state, especially Florida. And just to take it a step further, as a person that's in real estate and has been in real estate investing for a while, Florida is one of the biggest real estate investment markets because of all the tourism. Just check out what an Airbnb in Orlando or any beach town can make you. And with so many people moving to Florida and visiting Florida and all of these multinational companies coming to Florida, we have the highest paying jobs in Florida that we've ever seen. Now, one of the things I will tell you is that since the population has begun to grow in Florida more and more, the drivers have become worse and worse. I drive the highways every single day and I will tell you that there are some people that need to slow down and drive a tad better than they do. But again, if you're moving from another state to Florida, when you move here, just be aware that the drivers suck in Florida and you have to drive defensively. I will tell you another thing that the housing in Florida is not the bargain that it used to be, especially after the last couple of years. But if you're coming from states like New York, New Jersey, and California, where you have high taxes, when you move to Florida, the taxes are much less. And in most cases also, at the end of the year, they have more money in their pockets. Florida also offers an abundance 
abundance of new construction, which has been a big draw for retirees and families moving to Florida. And when you're getting into these new homes, you're usually ending up with lower insurance rates because of the way the homes are built and because of impact glass. And high wealth individuals are definitely making Florida their home. As you can see from this list of the top metropolitan cities, with these top seven cities where people are moving from and Florida being four of the 10 top cities where people are moving to. And again, Miami being number one. And since we're on the topic of Miami, Miami was ranked for the second year, the happiest and healthiest city in the United States with 70% of the people that live in Miami saying they're the happiest they've ever been in their lives. And since we keep checking off the positive things about Florida, Bankrate just put out this article saying that Florida was the number one state for retirees in 2022. And let's talk about all the things to do in Florida. If you're a kid at heart or you have kids, you have Disney and Universal Studios right there in Orlando. And my wife and I are definitely kids at heart because we love Disney. And being a Florida resident, you can get the passes for Disney and Universal Studios, which makes hitting the parks very, very easy. We also love to take a weekend in St. Augustine, which happens to be the oldest city in the United States with all the Spanish history in it. And I would recommend you stay at a bed and breakfast and take your bicycles with you and ride your bikes all over the city. It's absolutely amazing and it's a great fun weekend. And the beach towns in Florida are endless and every single town offers a visitor a different experience. And what a lot of people don't know about Florida either is that Northern Central Florida has all these beautiful rivers and springs that are great for camping, canoeing, and tubing. So that's all I have for you today, but I could go on and talk about many other things that make Florida an awesome place to live. It's a wonderful place to raise your family, retire or just come down because you want a change of life. And if you need a realtor or a mortgage, feel free to reach out to me and my team. We'd love to help you find the perfect place for you to live here in Florida. And if we don't work in that market, we have realtors that we work with all over the state of Florida that we can definitely turn you on to that will treat you like family and are experienced in the market that they're working in. And if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or concerns about moving to Florida. And if you already live in Florida, tell me what you think about Florida. And if you're thinking about moving to Florida, tell me why you're thinking about moving to Florida. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to slap that subscribe button right there and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our real estate tips and tours. And you can watch our next video right there on the Florida market and be kind to each other and I'll see you next time.